Corvette, a Grand Sport in 2010. And I gotta say, the Grand Sport is probably one of the best looking cars ever made, in my personal opinion. But my wife kind of threw a wrench in the plans with that car. She got the big idea, decided she wanted a camper, and of course we need a truck to pull the camper. So I sold the Corvette, purchased the Nissan Titan, grabbed a camper. We've had a lot of fun, we've really enjoyed it. But I gotta tell you, the itch has been strong to get back into the Corvette life. And being a kid of the 90s, a C5 Corvette is something that I've always wanted. This is a 2002, and who can deny the styling of the C5? The last generation of flip-up headlights, the classic, iconic, long, sweet, sloping snout with that aggressive roof line. Uh, there's a couple of options uh, in the C5 generation, of course, the Z06, but I'm not a fan of it. I, of course, I like the power and the performance aspect of the Z06, but I really do not like that fixed back coupe. It's just, it's not something I'm interested in. I honestly think there should be no convertible Corvettes, and I do not think there should have been any uh, fixed back Corvettes. It's just, it doesn't fit, it just doesn't fit the brand. This car was actually a couple hours drive away from me, actually three hours away from me, and I looked at it for weeks, and I just couldn't get a chance to get up and look at it. But the more and more I looked at it online, the more this color became appealing to me. This is a uh, the light pewter metallic. I sort of like it. It's not one that you see around all that much, and it's a, a pretty unique color. It looks pretty sleek and aggressive. I think it's very, very fitting for the C5. And I just had to pull the trigger on it, and I'm glad I did. Uh, of course, a six-speed manual transmission. I wouldn't get an automatic in a Corvette. It just doesn't do the car justice. Uh, that monster clutch is a little bit stiff, but it's actually not all that uncomfortable. I was actually surprised getting in this car, and I uh, haven't had a chance to really beat on it yet because I'm doing some cleanup and some maintenance just to make sure it's healthy. This being 22 years old and having the little LS1, uh, the 350, the 5.7 liter V8, I just I I was surprised to get in it and rip on it and feel how strong it is. So. We're moving quick on it. If you've been following along, you know I said that a bunch of times already. I, I don't want to get in the situation that I got in with the C6, where my wife kind of threw uh, an idea out of left field at me and sort of changed plans all together. And I didn't get a chance to do all the things I wanted to with that C6, but I already have a bunch of boxes stacked up in the garage, uh, including a BTR cam kit and a bunch of other cleanup stuff. And I got a bunch of stuff on order and we're like i said we're, i'm just moving quick with this thing i don't want it to pop up uh, i don't want that situation to pop up again where uh, plans and ideas get diverted and my tension uh, gets pulled in other directions like i mentioned we've already taken on a couple of projects with the car just an overall cleanup job uh, we addressed the bright red lenses of the tail lights i actually like the factory tail lights so i don't imagine them going uh, with leds um the, the signals here on the uh, rear quarter I'm really contemplating going wide body on this thing. Guys, let me know in the comments below if that's something you think I should do. I tinted the halo on this thing, the gloss black. I just really like the look. I liked the look of the, the color matched halo. It, you know, nothing wrong with it, but I think going all black and just having that sleek kind of aggressive roof line, roof line just it gives this car a whole nother look. So I, I don't think it can be beat. I think it was the right decision. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. I'm not too sure what these wheels are. I, I want to say they're the ZR1 reps. Correct me if I'm wrong, they're 18s in the rear, 17s out front. Those have to be changed as well. It does have Nitto tires on them, which are in pretty good shape, a lot of tread left, and I think they hook pretty good, but uh, they're just they're just not the right combination uh, that I'm going for with this car. We changed up the, the uh, corner, the lower signals, the DRLs. Uh, you can probably tell there, I think the front end of this car is looking pretty slick as well. Really cleaned up the interior of this thing. I uh, made my own shift boot. I got the, the little filler piece for like the um, the lower portion of the, the bezel. I ordered that from a guy that makes those on Etsy and uh, just did an overall cleanup and it, it really did need it. Uh, this, you know, the car's in decent shape, especially the paint, but uh, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. My expectations and the way that I take care of vehicles is much different than a lot of other people's apparently. You know, it sort of happens every time I pick up a new vehicle. I, it just has to go through a deep cleaning because I'm just not satisfied driving it um, I, without without doing it. I just ugh. I might have to do an update on the tint as well. Could maybe go a little bit darker. Uh, the tint kind of on the windows, the side windows are fa is failing a little bit already. Anyway, I don't know if it wasn't installed all that well or they didn't wait long enough until they rolled them down, so the corners are starting to roll up a little bit. Uh, no big deal. We'll get that taken care of. The car is looking good. 
sounds fantastic and I'm really pumped to take on some of these projects. Like I said, I've filmed a bunch of videos already and they're already uploaded, so I'm not sure when you are seeing this one, but make sure you go check out the channel and the playlist if you're interested in C5 stuff. Uh, took on a lot of projects already at this point and I, like I said a million times already, there's a lot more coming for this car, so I hope you guys will stick around. Let's take a look and listen, see how this car sounds. Yeah. 